It's time! Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee ready to make another major statement here tonight. Folks, here we go, undisputed UFC heavyweight championship fight, and all eyes are on the incumbent as he makes the walk here tonight, and he's enjoying every moment of it. Huge title defense beckons for him tonight. John, he loves where he stands in the sport. He loves the admiration that comes with being the baddest man on the planet. He knows he's the biggest, he's the strongest, he's the baddest, and he loves it. And he prepares as if he never wants to let that go. This man lives for being the best. This man lives to be in the spotlight. And time and time again, we see him defend this belt as if his life depended on it. Well, right, you lose this belt, it's essentially like walking back into your new life. He has no intention of suffering that fate here tonight. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron. Herb Dean, third Ready. party in the octagon Ready. tonight. All right, here we go, up for grabs tonight, the title of baddest man on the planet as we get set to crown a UFC heavyweight champion. Lee gets caught by the straight punch. Pretty good job blocking that attempt. Beautiful combination by the champion there. Nice target change with attacking the body. Slip that one. Goes upstairs with the kick. Oh! Fast pace here in the early going. Both fighters throwing heat now. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, it's tonight. a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Big right hook there by the champ. 
Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, that one landed, yep. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. Oh, working the inside of that leg. Nice jab there. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, that hip kick is nasty. Slips the punch. Clean punch. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Man, his jab is good. There it is. Nice counter right hook there. Oh, and he lands another counter strike here. He has landed several in this round. And if you are a counter-striking stylist, you can do worse than watching this guy compete. Beautiful job defensively, head movement, foot movement, and ultimately finding a home for these counter shots repeatedly in this round. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. Just over two minutes to go. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most skips on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, another beautiful combination there, DC. If this is not his best striking performance in the UFC, I'm not sure what was. We've never seen him look so good. And confidence starts the combination. Combinations come from confidence and believing that all the reps that you have done in the gym is going to show itself when the octagon door closes. Tonight it has been just that for this fight. Oh, nice. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. Block that punch. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Nice body shot. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. It's a nice jab by him there. Oh, and he lands another pinpoint counter. He has done an excellent job seemingly all night, remaining patient, waiting for his opponent to strike first, and timing his counters perfect. Final seconds of round one. Uppercut from the champion. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, take a seat for me, bud. Breathe. Breathe. Deep breath in. All right, here's some water. Ready? Listen. All right. Now you're doing awesome out there. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risks. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All ahead. right, round two. Book on him coming in was that he... All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. The book on him coming in was as one of the more precise counter strikers in this division, and he certainly had his game going there in the previous oh, round. He is absolutely one of the best counter strikers we've ever seen. Unable to land with that punch. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button 
that would end the night. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse, you gotta play cat and mouse. Hit, don't get hit, he does a great job. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Another straight left. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the top that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Nice technique on the sidekick. Just out of range with that left hook. Great block there. Just over three minutes to go. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Big shot to the body. Oh, another good body shot. Oh, nice kick to the body there. Man, look at the redness now almost immediately on the right side of his body. Oh, is he putting it all together tonight? Another huge kick lands. Nice uppercut. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Good block. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Nice hook. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Hey, hands up. Under two minutes now in round two. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Well, he blocked that one. Nice kick. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Big power shot there. Oh, goes upstairs and lands with the high kick. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. He's hurt, he's hurt. Feels like the beginning of the end. All right, there it is, another strike targeting that damaged area on the body. Is this a game plan thing or perhaps try to set something up high later? Well, I think it's, I think it's all, it all works together. You get the hands to start to drop, and then when those hands drop, you go over the top with that head kick. But beating up the body sets up the attacks up top, and that is exactly what this guy is doing. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Ten seconds to go in the round. Looks like he's dealing with a cut above the eye here. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, what a round. How good was that? All right, that's the end of the round. You see the fighter with a cut above his eye. It was sustained in that round. Now the cut man comes in. He'll try to earn his money, close it up, and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability.
You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Round three of a possible five. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Beautiful right hook counter. It got checked. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to... He's in a lot of trouble now. He's got to move. They're going to stop this fight if he doesn't move. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And now Leather being thrown up. Got hurt again. Oh, my goodness. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, the official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, five seconds of the third round. You're playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had...